Hi hey guys, it's Lexi. So, I'm here today to film a flower names video. I love flower names, and I'm sure a lot of you guys do. Um, so, here we go. Please excuse my brother's room in the background. Um, I just sat here because the light is really nice. And so let me know what you think about the light down in the comments. Okay, here we go. Obviously, these are all girls' names. Some of these were unisex, um, and there are a couple boys' names on there. But I just stuck with the girls' names because those are the ones that, like, People know them. They're the names of actual flowers. So, okay, here we go. First one is the ever uh, seemingly common rose. Rose is actually not that popular. Um, it's in the 300s, I think. So it's really not that popular at all. Um, I think rose is so pretty. It reminds me of the Titanic, and it reminds me of Little House on the Prairie, because that's Laura and Almanzo's daughter's name is Rose. And uh, I love Little House on the Prairie. Um... Yeah, I think Rose is really, really pretty. But it's definitely on my top ten list. Um, the second, these are some of my favorite ones at the beginning. Excuse me. <laughs> so my second favorite name on this, or my second name on this list, they're not really in any order, but it's Poppy. I think Poppy is so cute. Um, and the, in my Sims, one of the girls named Poppy, and she rents a flower shop, and she is just so cute. She's so adorable. Uh, on for the Wii. This means Wii, guys. That looks weird. I'm going to have to do it again. But, um, and also she is a character in Jessica Day George's novels, Princess of the Midnight Ball, and Princess of Glass, which stars Poppy. The third name is Azalea, and I think Azalea is actually really, really cute. I like the Z in there. I think it sounds cute. I definitely think Azalea is really cute. If you're going for flower name, but you don't want, like, Lily or Rose, and you think Poppy sounds a little childish, because I admit, it does sound a very girly girly. Well, like, a little girly. I think Azalea is really pretty. I think it could go nice on a grown lady, like, Grandma Azalea. I guess you would kind of say Grandma Poppy, but Grandma Azalea, or, like, if you're, if you're in the store and you're like, oh yeah, this is my wife, Azalea, or whatever. I just think Azalea is so pretty. Okay. Gosh, over. Um, next we have Daisy. Um, and Daisy made me think of Daisy Duck and, like, a Golden Retriever. I think Daisy's kind of cute, but I didn't use it for, like, a child. I think it is, I think now it's kind of, like, a sillier name to use. Um, it, I, I think it's kind of, like, Poppy. I think Poppy is really cute. Um, I like Poppy a lot with Daisy, of course, but I don't think I mean, you could use it on it as a grown person because... You just can't, like, it doesn't seem very adult. The next name is Marigold, and I think this one's okay. It's not my favorite, um, for sure, but it's, it's, I liked it better than the other names we could have on this list. Um, you could go with Mary or Goldie or Marigold. You might be able to get Ari or Aria in there. It might be a stretch, though. Or Margie, maybe. <laughs> I think Marigold's cute. Um, I wouldn't use it, but I would love to meet a little girl named Marigold. I think it's cute. And I think it's like a happy and upright meaning because gold is in there. Um, the next name I think is really cute. It's Magnolia. Oh my gosh, I love this. I think um, you could go with the nickname Maggie or Nola. I think Magnolia is just so cute. And it reminds me of one of my favorite groups, which is Steel Magnolia. And I just love Steel Magnolia. They are so. <laughs> Ow. My hair. This is very funny today. <laughs> um, yeah. Next name is Daffodil, and I think this makes me think of Daffy Duck. Um, because of the daff at the beginning. Um, and I also think it's kind of a name that you couldn't really use. Um, I can't really think of a nickname other than Daffy and Daffy Duck. And it also sounds like Taffy. Um, which I don't know why you want, you'd want a child to be associated with Taffy, but because they're so sweet. <laughs> Um, yeah. The daffodils, okay. Dilia. That kind of sounds a little weird. <laughs> okay. Next one um, is, oh my gosh, one of my favorites on here with Rose and Poppy. Violet. Violet is so cute. It's getting popular. Um, yeah, you can kind of tell Violet is going up in popular. Anyways, um, I just think Violet is so cute. It's just so cute. Um, I love it. I would use Violet in a heartbeat. I love all these, though, so. so. Uh, I just can't go over how cute Violet is. Okay. 
Um, sorry. <laughs> next name is Lily, and Lily is kind of a more common one, but Lily is a name I could see on a lot of different girls. I have several friends named Lily, or people I know. Um, one of my friends, Lily, is Asian. Um, <laughs> and another friend's name, Lily, is blonde. And another one of my friends, well, I guess my friend, she goes to school, is a brunette. I'm sure there are red, Lily Pars or Redhead. I mean, Lily can be used on just about anyone, and it looks, still looks good. So, whether you are, you know, coming in from wherever, it doesn't matter your, ethnic, your ethnicity, I think Lily is a great choice. Although, this does make it kind of like um, a name that people kind of overuse as well. The next name, um, <laughs> I spelled that wrong, okay, um, is Jasmine or Yasmin. Um, we used to have neighbors across the street, and they were of Hispanic, so I think they were Mexican. Um, and the mom's name was Yasmin, um, and the daughter's name was Jasmine, and they both did the same thing. And Jasmine is an exotic kind of flower. I think Jasmine is really, Jasmine is a really, really pretty. Um, I wouldn't use it because we speak of Aladdin too much, and my neighbor, of course, but um, she's just wasn't in Moose, Texas. But I like it a lot, actually. I like it. Um, Jazz is kind of a cute name, Yaz. But I think Yaz is a, a word or something, or like a something. It's something. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, the next name on my. These next three names I don't think are very usable, but I think they're cute. Maybe this version is Pansy. I think Pansy is so cute. Although, I mean, you'll, people will call boys who aren't so tough. You know, you Pansy. Or other things. But Pansy is the G version. And I think Pansy is kind of cute. Although it kind of sounds like panties. And that is not a good association. I don't think. <laughs> Unless you're like a Victoria's Secret model or something. But still, I don't think that's very good. But um, I think Pansy is cute. Um, next is peony. Um, it kind of sounds like peony, which means piece of tea potential, or just the pea in the beginning. But peony is kind of cute. It's kind of like coffee. I like the, they start with pea and they end with Y. <laughs> Alright, the next name is Petunia. Um, and if you are a Harry Potter buff like me, sorry if I keep moving your hand. It's not very stupid. Um, Petunia is the evil, or evil, um, I don't know if you can see that. Um, sister of Lily Potter, and she is a witch. She not really a witch, but I lied. That was a very poor use of words. She's a terrible person. Let's just go with that. Um, she's married to Vernon, and they are the ones. And Dudley is their son, uh, and they keep they're the ones who keep Harry locked under the stairs. Not locked. Under the stairs. That's where his bedroom is, and they like put him to work, and they're just really neat people. Um, the next name is oh my gosh, I think this name is so cute, and I can see this on oh my gosh. Zinnia. I think Zinnia is so cute. I could see this on a little girl. I could... Zinnia is really cute. <sighs> Sorry. I don't think I would use it, but I really, really like Zinnia. The next name is Iris, and I am not a fan of Iris. Um, yeah. But, I mean, it's not bad. Um, and I, like, it makes me like the Iris in your eye, and, um... Isis, which is like a, a, a Egyptian goddess. I don't know what these guys are. I think it's like this guy. Don't quote me. No, she's the wife of Osiris. He's the god of the... I don't know who's the god of. I think it's like evil. No, it's not evil. I don't know. I read... I read um, Rick Riordan, but... I can't think of, oh, the Cain Chronicles. But I don't know who Isis really is exactly. All I know is that she possesses hate. <laughs> I don't know where Hazel came from, but that's another really pretty um, flowery nature name is Hazel. <laughs> we have Lilac, um, and Lilac is really pretty. I'm trying to think. I don't know. It's not her. Um, in Matilda. Lilac is kind of cute. I, I like Lila. I think Lilac is a little... I don't like the act. It's like lack. Lilac. I think it kind of sounds like you're talking about the loogie. But I like, I mean, it's cute. Lilac's cute. Like, if I met Will Garn Lilac, I wouldn't be like, ew, I think it'd be cute. I think it'd be cute. Um, and then we have it. <laughs> Tansy. And I think Tansy's kind of cute, too. Um, when you say them out loud, though, they're not as adorable as they look. Um, Tansy's, I think, really cute. But, um, yeah, it's kind of like Pansy and... 
stuff like that. It's probably and peonies. It's probably not that useful. Um, two more. Well, I like three more. Um, then we have lavender, and I think lavender is so cute. She's from Matilda, um, and also lavender brown from Harry Potter. Um, who I didn't really, wasn't really a big fan of her character. They called her lav though, and that kind of sounds like lavatory, which is like the bathroom. But I think lav kind of cute. And lavender is just cute. I like it. Um, second to last name on this list is Posy, and Posy is another one I think is so cute, but I couldn't use it because Posy, it's like, ring around the rosy, pack it full of posies, ashes, ashes, we all fall down that song. And that song is about the Red Death, or not the Red Death, <laughs> no, the Black Death, the Black Plague, not the Black Death, I think it's just the Black Plague, Black Death, I don't know, the Bubonic Plague, that's what it's called for sure. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, and then the last name, which I don't actually have listed on here, but I just thought of it on top of my head, I think it's kind of cute, is Orchid. Um, I wouldn't use it, but it's just O, which is really cool. Um, okay, just sounds good. Okay, so this video is so, so long. I hope you enjoyed my flower names video. Bye, guys.